Hey guys, so tonight's dinner is something I'm just throwing together because we're down to the end of our refrigerator and freezer food. Um, I took sausage, I had a package of five sausage links and I took them out of the casing so I'm making them more like ground sausage. Um, the boys tend to not like eating sausages in the casings but they will eat it grounded up like this. So I took the Italian sweet sausage and I'm browning it up. I got some water boiling for pasta. As you see, we do eat a lot of pasta in this house. And I'm gonna add to the sausages some diced onions, some peas, and some sun-dried tomatoes. So these I got from my farm, my CSA. And the last of the pasta I have is macaroni. So that's what I'm gonna make. And when all that's cooked up, I'm gonna add some white wine. Um, and cream, so a nice wine cream sauce. I guess I'll add a little bit of Italian seasoning as well and pour that over the pasta. And that's dinner tonight. Sorry about that. Um, so I threw the onion in and I did dice up some garlic, uh, two cloves of garlic. I wanna add garlic to it too. So what I thought was peas was actually green beans. This is, this is what happens when you can't see but it's still gonna be good. So I added the, <laughs> the garlic, shut it. The garlic, the green beans. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. These are tasty. A lot of times I buy them in oil. I guess I could pack them in oil so that they are a little softer, but they'll soften up with the sauce. There you go. It's just enough. Yep, never made this before in my life. So I have a little bit of white wine left. I usually use Pinot Grigio to cook. Um, we have friends that like Pinot Grigio and my mother-in-law likes Pinot Grigio so we always make sure we have that in the house. And when there's a little left I like to cook with it. So I added that. Yeah a lot of times although I haven't done it recently which I should um, we love me and my husband love sausage and pasta with broccoli rabe or rapini, um, which Publix has it here. I think that's the only place I've seen them have it. I think Sprouts, but Publix um, always has it. And um, yeah, I haven't I haven't made that in a long time. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, yeah, we remember in New York we used to make the sausages with the broccoli rabe, and then John would put it on a Hero and put some mozzarella cheese on it and let it all melt and eat it. That was really good. So, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. There's no good hero bread down here. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go get the cream. Let that cook out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to add the cream. And I want to add enough so that we can coat the pasta with it. I'm going to toss it all together. I need to get pesto from Costco. I would have added a little pesto to this, but don't have any. So now the cream sauce, the wine cream sauce will pick up the flavors of the sausage. Yummy. And I decided to add my Italian seasoning blend. Mm -mm -mm. Made up recipe. 
See, that's why I like cooking more than baking. Can't just make stuff up baking. But cooking, you can. Pasta is almost done, and then I'll put it all together. And I'm going to throw in some Parmesan cheese. I had a little left in here that I had pre-grated. And then we'll top more Parmesan cheese on everyone's plate. Oh, it smells good. I wish you could smell that. So I had to put a little salt. Um, the green beans needed salt. So I should have added a little salt to the green beans when it was cooking. But I added a little salt to the dish. And I actually put a little more cream in it. Because my container, I just had what was left over, which was probably about a cup or a little less than a cup. So I added a little more cream from another container. So I'm going to just let this heat up a little bit. And then we serve it. And there it is. Doesn't look very pretty right now, but that's dinner tonight. And it tastes delicious.